deteriorate. Uh, we have to uh, become altruistic and help those that are misfortunate uh, as we go through this uh, recent uh, change. Well, my name is Dr. Lee Moore. I'm co co-founder, executive uh, and founder, and my wife is co-founder. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, really, this is about a two or three hour lecture. I'm going to have about 40 minutes or less. Uh, all of this can't discuss, but we do every Sunday, every third Sunday of the month. We have uh, free, it's free, you know, over at 1100 East 55th Street, it's called Financial Preparedness. And what we talk and, and uh, do uh, is make you prepare for what's taking, currently and taking place today. And uh, in the world today, which most Americans don't have a clue to what's going on, and that's the uh, dollar bill that you got in your pocket. The only way it's really accepted in this country, only in this country, if you travel abroad, abroad or if you have a business that does international, you know you have a lot of trouble with your dollars. Uh, uh, as nations uh, began to reject the uh, dollar as a worthless currency because the nation itself is bankrupt. The great American uh, empire that we are part of, for some, most of us is in our 40s and 50s, uh, we are the end of the world. That's a world ruled by mainly the Western powers, or what you call so-called white powers, the former colonial nations that at one time ruled the world, where all the money and power has moved from the West to the West, to the East. That's the way it's been set up. And as a result of a corrupt system that is finally, you know, as, as President Lincoln said, you can fool all the people some of the time. You see what I'm saying? But you can't fool all the people what? All the time. I mean, you know, at some point people wake up and, and, and smell the coffee and see what we have in existence. And uh, that's what we have. Basically, uh, China is our largest creditor nation. Uh, we owe them about 1.3 trillion, I say billion, trillion dollars. Uh, and it's impossible for us to pay it. We can't pay Social Security or Medicare. It's a result of malfeasance. I spent uh, some of my life as a portfolio manager for Swiss Trust, and I understand what uh, malfeasance is. That's when you give somebody some money to invest for you, and they frittered it away frivolously. Now, if you've got a trust account, they messed that money up. The penalty at one time was imprisonment because you didn't, you didn't use the crude rules of investment. Now, a politician in Washington had bankrupt the situation, and uh, we face uh, the system. There will be a reboot of the situation, and only those that made preparation will be able to survive. Now, this happens many times before. This is not unique. Uh, and it happened once in 1971. We'll talk about that. There's been three global reset, two uh, that we have already. Global reset where the currency becomes uh, worthless and things take place. Sometimes some people know something about it, most people don't, but they do receive the reflect of higher prices in the basic commodities what we're talking about, fuel, food, and et cetera. As Poncho says, uh, we're at a point where people are going to have to re re revert to growing their own food again. Uh, Monsanto and the food cartels, that's a monopoly. They dictate the policies, uh, especially in this country. That's the reason why you can't get, excuse me, GM, GMO food on your what? Labels. And they have, uh, anytime that's come up in California, they have bought the process uh, the buying and and, and uh, uh, should I say prevent the process from going through. Uh, they know it's poor. Many nations have refused to uh, accept uh, GMO, and many of the products that we use here in America they're not accepted abroad. So many people think, woo, 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 USA. The country's broken. It's totally corrupt, and you can find it out by looking at the food and most important the money situation, which they will soon find out. Because the rest of the world will not eventually accept uh, 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 payment for debtors. And if you don't believe that, just get a lot of debt. If you got a bunch of credit cards, next thing you know, they start being what? You're going to call from your credit card company saying that uh, you sold people in debt. You know what we're going to do? We're going to cut off the credit line. 
until you pay down this work. Yeah. And you can down that debt. So that works for individuals, it works for states. And I don't know if you know this, uh, this past week, or this past week, or the last two weeks, uh, the city of Chicago's credit rate has been below the triple, That's right. triple B. That's three notches below junk. What junk bonds is, no pensions allowed to buy junk bonds. No bank can't hold. Nobody's willing to hold junk bonds. That's like somebody uh, uh, that, that you know is dead broke, and they want to write you an uh, IOU. Got no job and no what? No income. No income and no asset. Now you don't have to work. So let us begin here very quickly going through this process. That was uh, briefly an overview. And for those that are uh, uh, really don't understand, you will in time. And if you haven't prepared, you're in a pretty well sad shape. Now the scripture says this. It says the borrower is subject to the lender. So if you don't dictate your mortgage to your, uh, to your bank or your credit cards. Uh, so what we're saying here is that the uh, U.S. dollar is in crisis. Now as many nations that have gone broke, in other words, their currency becomes worthless in terms of international trade. Now, uh, this is not unique. Uh, okay. uh, this is not a uh, unique, uh, uh, this is not unique. If you read the, in your Bible, if you read the 40, uh, that is 45, 17, 47, 15, it says, and when money failed in the land of Egypt, and in the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came to Joseph and said, Give us bread, for why should we die in thy presence? For, for the money failed. So it, so it shows you in the land of Egypt where Joseph interpreted the seven years of prayer, seven years of uh, famine, that the money failed. So we had a nation where the money failed. And this is what we find out. Food prices are going up. And especially organic food is going to get so expensive that the average person cannot afford unless he has a garden, he grows his own, own uh, organic food. And what that means then, pe people are resorting to cheap food. And uh, to give you an example, that's why McDonald's, they will sell these dollar meals, and two dollar meals. What, 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 what type of substance is in there? <laughs> it ain't and, and don't have any nutritional value. So the money you got in your pocket, it doesn't have any nutritional value, like it used to be. You used to say, the dollar was saying it's what? Gold. No more. This stuff is worth it. All you gotta do is go to a supermarket and start looking at the prices and track them. Go to the gas station. And you go to the gas station and find out because nobody's willing to exchange these paper dollars for real assets and these assets, these paper money don't hold their what? Value. Right. So you go to work every day and you're exchanging your time and creativity for these paper notes. That's right. The ironic part is when they pay your notes, you come to find out that, wait a minute, I put in all these hours, this time, and my creativity in this company, and the money I get, I can't get a word return on it. So actually, you've been, you've been reduced to a what? A slave. So that's the subtle effect of this uh, process. So, um, uh, Henry Ford, he once said this, he said, it is, it is well enough that the people of a nation do not understand banking and monetary systems. For if they did believe, there would be a revolution before tomorrow morning. They would find out that the money is not backed by gold. It's just some ink that somebody has slapped on a piece of paper, mm -hmm. and you place your trust and faith in something that's not even worth the paper's written on. But that's the common game that's going on. But China and many of these other nations in the East said, you know what? We did all this work for you guys. We made these uh, products. We did this phony money, but all right, we got some for you. We take this, these paper dollars and start buying gold and real assets, and when this thing finally crumbled, who, 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 who do you think going up on top? So uh, that's an indication of what we're talking about here, is that what we're dealing with. Uh, okay, I won't be able to get through some of this, but uh, these are some of the things that we have to do. The demise of the dollar. You got a record U.S. debt. You know, the debt of scriptures always associated with what? Sin. And the uh, Lord's Prayer said, give us our what? Debtor. Yeah. Debtors. You think of uh, J.C. Morgan, uh, J.C. Morgan and Bank of America, they, they committed this fraud right. by taking the people's equity out of their home. The middle class only uh, store of wealth was their home and their 401 k 
and they've been robbed of what? Both. Both. That's what's happening. And people will soon wake up. So we have um, uh, the U.S. Uh, reserve status. That means that America is the only currency in the world that you can go to, you have to use to buy oil. You know, that's what's set up by the Kessinger and the Saudi Arabia. So in order to buy oil, you have to use the dollars. So if you had yen, the euro, or whatever currency, you have to exchange that for the dollar, and then you buy the currency. That's no longer taking place because China says, you know what? We're going to use our, our currency, and Russia says the same thing. They have a, a, a trade pack of Russia and another. And see, one thing about Russia and China, can't nobody hold on. America goes, knows that situation over there in, in uh, Ukraine. Ukraine. They, no, there's no Bogart there. He's not dealing with a third world country. So that's what you have here. You have uh, world leaders that have lost the trust in the U.S. dollar. We have commodities rising, gold, oil, coffee, you name it. That's a form of inflation. At one time, you could buy, uh, say, Blue Mountain coffee for $8 or $9, dollars, say, 10, 10, 15 years ago, 12 years ago, in the, in the 90s, about $10 for coffee. They don't even sell it by the pound of it's like $20 for a half a pound. Because they know nobody would pay $24 or $30 for what? A pound. a pound. That shows you that it's inflation. Price. So let's go out and buy a bag of potato chips for a dollar and see how much air you get. <laughs> you can understand what we're looking at here. Uh, so this is a process. As money values decrease, the size of products de decrease, because everybody's trying to stretch themselves to kind of survive here. Because money doesn't buy what it used to buy. Uh, currencies, uh, then finally, we have currencies reset. We'll talk about that briefly. And the social uh, terminals. And the reason we have social terminals, you said, I don't understand what that means. This is a sophisticated uh, word. Look at Inglewood, the West Side. If you go back 10 years, just say at the top of the real estate boom, you didn't have any drive bys, you didn't have all this crazy business because everybody had a what? Job. In a JOB. Any time you find a nation where you have high unemployment, regardless of race, creed, and nationality, you got social what? Chaos. Yeah. You look at Greece, you look at Africa, you look at some of the Islamic nations, wherever their people are poor, they have problems. And everybody's trying to survive, so you what? You feed, rob, what? Yeah. Steal. And, 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 and they're just reacting at the uh, circumstances that you have existed today. Uh, so briefly, uh, I'm going to do a little quick uh, overview. Record U.S. debt. Here's the budget deficit uh, that's approaching uh, 16 to 17 trillion. By the time Obama gets out of the office, it'll be 20 trillion dollars. You know what people say overseas? They say, "Wait a minute, enough is what? Enough. Enough. You better have too much debt. Are you think if you hold this paper, there's no gold or silver behind it. You 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 you're nuts. And and they have begun to reject it. You don't hear it in the news, but this is just the budget deficit. Wait till you find out what the, um, when you include Social Security. Now, his professor caught the lid off. He's a, a professor of economics at Boston University. He said, when you throw in everything, when you do a financial statement for, uh, say, for a bank, you're supposed to list all your assets and all your liabilities. In very small print, the bank will say, listen, to misrepresent a lie on this after you give your, your signature, it's a what? Oh. It's a felony. See, the bank will say, listen, we don't play that. You're going to tell me where your assets are, and you'll tell me what your liabilities are. Now, you come here and lie to us, we don't put you in jail. See, because we don't play that. So, but yet, but yet the United States uh, government, they gives us a financial <coughs> statement. They say they have $19 trillion in debt. They have $220 trillion in debt. And that means the debt is uncontainable and can't be what? Hey, hey. It can't be paid. I mean, they always say Chicago's dead broke. Right. They can't fix the potholes. <laughs> uh, eventually, they're going to talk about laying off police ones or cut service back. That's why people want to do concealed and care. I'm just talking about how a nation right. begins to what? Break down socially, economically. And if the money don't flow, it's just like the blood of your body. And you find those neighborhoods where, uh, that are uh, uh, what they call poverty-stricken or low-income, there's a dead zone. 
There's no business, there's nothing there. We go to uh, places where they're furnished, like up in Lincoln Park. There's about, within one mile, I told my wife, there's about 10 grocery stores here. You figure out well, what they're doing, everybody realizes like, this is a high what? High end, It's a high end, high income. That's the way, that's the way things work. But again, uh, that's the way things are set up. Uh, okay, I go through really world trust. Loss of trust in the U.S. dollar. You know, you can look this up on the, on the internet. Just do a Google, Google search. I won't be able to get through most of this. Uh, uh, here's the BRICS. BRICS are not using the U.S. dollar. Who are the BRICS nations? You probably very rarely heard that nation, that, 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 that term used. BRIC, they stand for five nations. They call it the emerging nations, or the nations of the East. B is for Brazil, R is for Russia, I is for India, C is for China, and S is for South Africa. They represent 50% of the world's population, uh, a little bit more than 50%, and of the surplus funds, I mean the money that you need for investment, $3 trillion is over East. All the Western nations are all what? They're all brain grown. They, 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 we're talking about the United States, England, uh, and, and, and all the African, I mean the European nations, especially Southern Europe, Greece, Italy, Spain, Portugal, those nations are getting broke uh, as a result of, of the system that they have in place. That's the banking system. Uh, uh, so the world has lost trust in the U.S. of that. Uh, we talked about the BRICS. Uh, here what you have here is the headlines. Nations, headlines, nations no longer using the dollar. China, Russia quit using the dollar for trade. Uh, uh, and they bail out on the trade routes. You, go, uh, you go, just look, begin to look this up. Uh, uh, now China says it's China cut its U.S. bonds holdings uh, uh, by 48 billion by the most in two years. And buys what? They're buying gold instead. So what the, in other words, you already got one trillion dollars of your currency. And we consider it worthless almost, but we'll continue to buy what we can with the money. We'll go to South, we'll go to Africa, we'll change these bonds for what? Mines, we'll take these bonds, we buy oil. We, we want to take these bonds, I mean those US bonds of money and buy anything that's of a, a value, real value. Because we know this here eventually will cease to exist. And when it does, we're going to make sure we have real assets. Uh, that will continue on when this becomes totally uh, worthless, almost worthless. Uh, so that's China. Uh, uh, now the Fed is continuing to, the Federal Reserve, let me say briefly, we do not have a money system in this country. What you have is a credit and debt system. That means for every dollar that has to come in existence, somebody has to take on what? Debt. debt. So this is why it says a Federal Reserve what? Yeah. Note. See, you don't have any silver or gold. So if the debt was paid off, what would happen to the money supply? It would cease to what? It, it ceased to exist because it's only backed by debt. And that's one of the that's the trick that he reports if anybody understood this, they said, well listen, this is probably the most maniacal system that the devil could ever dream of. And in addition to that, you can't say that they got the love of God or the love of humanity either. Because you can see how they have wrecked these communities and caused so much havoc and trauma psychologically. Right. And the people are still walking around in the days and they don't know what the hell is going on. Right. See, and if they don't have any gold or silver, or some way to exchange that, like food will be exchanged, as money fails, you're going to be able to exchange either services for what? Gold and silver. Until the nations of the world have decided, besides the U.S., to go back to some form of gold standard, which was gotten off in 1931. Uh, and, then, and then when, when the U.S. took over, doing the Britain Wood after World War II, we was the first supreme power in the world. We said our dollar was good as gold. Uh, and people went with that for a while. In 1971, uh, Nixon took us off the gold standard. That means in terms of uh, basic nations travel, uh, trade with one another. And France decided when they would trade, when, they had a surplus, when France had a surplus with the U.S., they said, listen, you're not holding no, you're not holding no uh, dollars. The gall says, you know what? I got $12 billion. You know what? At $35 an ounce, I want to go. And you transferred over me. We ain't trusting you. Mm -hmm. And that's why you have to, those of you that 
remember the great friction between France and England, France and the U.S., that was what it was about. It was about that nobody trusted the dollar. And it's gotten worse since then. So this is what you're dealing with. And currently, to keep the system going after the collapse of the real estate market in 2008-9, when, when Obama came in, the system was crashing. It created tons of money, $16 trillion, just billing out, billing out banks. Now, they didn't have any money to back it up. Real money, they were just printing up money to buy those nations, uh, to, to uh, buy, to forestall nations from going bankrupt and from nations going bankrupt. Uh, so currently we're pretty quick about, I think, uh, I think about 75, 80 billion dollars a month. They just create money out of, out of the thin air. They buy mortgage bonds and they buy U.S. treasury just to keep the, the, the price of interest rates is at zero. That's why when you put $100 or $1,000 in the bank, they say the interest rate is 0 0.2. See, the United States has so much debt that they, they can allow the interest rates to go back to 5 to 6% because they would not be able to pay the interest on the debt. Currently, the interest rates, we collect about 2.4, it's a 2.5 trillion dollars in income tax. That's the biggest source of income. They pay out roughly about $400 billion in, uh, uh, in interest expense. And just say the interest rate went back to 5 or 6% as it had in uh, 2000, 2004, 4, 5, it was, about, it was uh, uh, 5 or 6%. If we was going back to 6%, the interest rate would go to one trillion dollars. They only collect two point four trillion dollars. Hello, people say, "Well, listen, I want my interest paid." You said, "You can't pay it. Don't pay your credit card." They say for, that, for ninety days. They say you in what? D what? Default. Default. See, and you don't want this nation to go in default. And that's the problem that they have. That they broke. And uh, it says China cut. We talked about that. Uh, uh, we talked about the stimulus package. Uh, okay, now what they mean by a currency reserve, let me explain this, it's very simple. Most nations do not have, they have very low gold that backs their currency. What they, what they, when you say U.S. currency, U.S. dollar is a currency reserve, that means most nations are holding U.S. bonds and treasury notes to back up their what? Currency. So, if you look at this chart, and you can tell at one time that nations had here almost 70% of their assets in U.S. dollars. And you see that their assets went what? Declining. And when they started, was about 1998, 19, 2000, after the so-called 9-11, things started going what? Down. In other words, nations began to sell their bonds and, and begin to start buying gold and other things. They said, listen, this ain't going to work. Because the nation, the nation that we hold their bonds, we'll hold their bonds and we're backing our money by their bonds. And their bonds are going down and becoming worthless. That means our what? Our currency is going uh, bankrupt. If you got somebody's holding somebody's IOU and they can't pay you, well, you, you have to, on your uh, asset, that uh, uh, promissory money to pay you has become what? Zero. So you don't have that asset no more. Well, that's what happened with the various countries. And they're moving out of dollars and euros, and they're returning it to gold, especially some of the Eastern nations. So you wonder what has happened to America. So that this is a report chart where it says that U.S. and euros uh, in nation currency reserves, and you see that definitely are declining uh, very rapidly. And uh, what's happening then, very briefly then, that means that if no one can buy our treasuries, the, the Federal Reserve buys 90% of the bonds that we need. In other words, America, when they make the budget, they are trillion dollars over the amount of their uh, tax revenue. So we can make about 2.5 trillion, we run about 3.5 trillion. So with a trillion dollars over, the Federal Reserve pulls out a check, you know, and they say, wait a minute, this is, this is a Ponzi scheme. Hmm. So this is what you're dealing with, with the situation, and the world sees it, and they're looking at, they're looking at this thing and say, wait a minute, here's this great nation, it's continually going into what? Debt. debt. And at some point, that debt is something that you can live off a credit card, high and money for some time, but at some point, the what? The debt comes due, and you're in trouble if you can't have enough revenue to support the debt. This is what you have in America. 
Now what's happened is commodity prices, that means gold, silver, and oil, that's the reason why you're more likely to have $5 oil come uh, this summer for premium. We get four fifty right now. So you can see that why oil, why is oil so high when, when, the, when the demand for oil in the United States has uh, diminished and in Europe because most people, a lot of people lay it off. And then the only person is just China's got a boom in the economy, but then oil still stays up why? because the dollar has begun to lose its value and they're raising prices uh, of the oil producers. Uh, now, let me show you what happens. Why is 10,000 Chinese, why is 10,000 Chinese? Uh, uh oh. I can't do that. I'll come back later. But look up the process where there's 10,000 Chinese that are buying gold uh, at that site. Okay. Chinese becomes the world's largest uh, buyer of gold in the world. Okay, this is a 12 year, uh, what should I say, 10 year, 2012, or 2002, or 2012. What you have basically here is a 12, 10 year chart on gold from 2002 to 2012. Now look here, the largest commodity, all you see on these columns commodities are doubling and tripling. And what you have here is Silver has went up seven times. Uh, here's coffee. Coffee is up almost two six. That's almost three hundred times. Corn is up what? Three hundred times. You know everything you cook that corn in. Natural gas is up. Uh, it's, well, you got to over, you got to oversupply that. But you got the, uh, gasoline. It's up almost three hundred fifty times. Almost four times. But these are the various commodities. Diesel fuel. See, it's up uh, two seventy. Almost three hundred percent. But what's the, it's just showing you rice is up. You know, it's a commodity, it's up too many times. That's why you had the uh, spring uh, riots over in Egypt. They said, listen, commodities jumped up so crazy. Why are the commodities jumping up so crazy? Everybody that's, that's got the 1%, they're buying these commodities and maintain their purchase, their purchasing power of the what? The dollar. So you buy these commodities, they go up in price, and the poor man has to uh, buy them. And the next thing you know, in the third world, you spend 60 to 70 percent of your, 60 to 70 percent of your, of your money on what? Food. You bankrupt. See what I'm saying? But well, these are the things that you have. Uh, I'll tell you that one. And I was telling you about Moody. Did what? Now Moody uh, downgraded the U.S. The U.S. government uh, in 2012. They 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 downgraded the America uh, U.S.A. bonds from AAA. To the level below, and uh, uh, the U.S. Justice Department went and investigated him. Say, listen, man, you're a bad creditor. Now you're gonna jump with a credit agency because you got bad, you got bad credit. That's the, that goes to show you the story. It says Moody downgraded Chicago's credit rating, the lowest of any major city except what? Detroit. 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 And what? What did that tell you? That, that's another city. In other words, this city is bankrupt. You know, if you don't believe, just try to call them through the street side. They can't fix that mess. You know, they, they totally uh, uh, in there because the debt and the pension. We told people uh, approximately in 2003, we held this meeting. We said, you got to understand, uh, uh, this is nothing but a Ponzi scheme. And what they're going to do is take these people's equity. Everybody's going to live up their house upside down. If you got to be equity in your house, take it to buy gold and silver and wait for the collapse. Some people did it, some people did And you know what happened? You sit in the house and the bank is running away with your money. Mm. Now you and the house is upside down and, and they still acting for what payment? So, so you got a, a mortgage for five hundred thousand dollars and the house is only worth what? Two fifty. Hello? <laughs> Can't you see something's wrong? And fifty percent of Americans are living in a house <coughs> that's upside down. So what do you do? Uh okay, we went to the commodities. Uh, uh, this is the commodities, and, and you know, here's Mr. Putin. What has he got in his hand? Gold. gold brick. He got a gold brick. See, and this is what the nations in the East are. Remember, most the Chinese were the first to, to uh, have paper money, and they thought it never worked. 
it never works because you always print too much of it. And it winds up destroying the system. So they said, listen, we gotta go back to gold and as silver, because that's the only way of, 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 of establishing a system that's stable and cannot be abused. So uh, they have went back, the Americans, they didn't, they didn't live in line on that, but when, remember the, the golden rule, he who has a what? Gold rule. So when this thing finally collapsed, as I told them, uh, the, the, the average American, Mr. Ching and Mr. Lee gonna be your boss. Because they're gonna come and buy everything, because they got to go and say, I'm gonna buy that 10 cent on a dollar, 5 cent on a dollar, and that's it. See, they're, buying, they're already doing it. If you just look up China buying up real estate, uh, uh, they don't bought banks, they bought the largest pork company, they're buying everything. You know, they don't let the largest, largest buy in Detroit. Right. See, That's buying up everything, and, and Americans walking around. Don't well, have a clue what's going on. See, uh, and here's uh, China, the, the great red dragon. Uh, uh, these are the nations that uh, they trade with, and most of those nations are trading in their own currency, and no one is trading in dollars. And the reason why Saddam, they jump on Saddam, because Saddam wants to sell his oil and what? Gold. Uh, uh, and gold or maybe uh, EU, the Euros. And well, see, nobody's going to jump on China or uh, 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 Russia. So you begin to see how the system, the dollar based system, is falling apart. Now, I'm going to show you how currencies only last a certain time. Now most of us are African American. We go back to 1400s. That's when the European nations, the white nations, came to the New World. Am I right? You had slave trade. You know, slaves are nothing but a commodity. That's basically what it is: is commodity. Now again, the 1400s, Portugal was a major power, and 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 their money ruled the world. It became a a, a a currency reserve. Everybody went to Portugal money. Okay, we went on down to Spain. Spain became a very mighty a mighty. Uh, nation uh, uh, economically because they went to what? Mexico with Cortez and did what? Stole all the silver. Stole all the silver. One of the largest the silver highest in the world. Became a major what? Power. But they failed. Then, then, then the Netherlands became, a, uh, Holland became a major power. Remember, New York City was not first by England. It was called Amsterdam. Who yeah. first ruled it? The Dutch. The Dutch. The Dutch colony. See, see, the Dutch colony, see? And, they went out. and then finally we had France. Then you had the British Sterling up to World War I. And then finally we went up with the what? You have done it. Oh, I know. That's supposed to last forever. <laughs> now, you've got a pattern here. And somebody says, I don't believe a dollar will fall. Just wait. It already has. You just haven't watched the what? The science. science. If you're urinating blood, you've got a problem. See, if you can't see the science, that's on you. See? But that's a penalty for your ignorance. You don't, you know, there's a sign that said the gas station is flammable. You strike a match, you know, you don't violate certain laws. Well, there are laws of economics, there's laws of nutrition, there's all types of laws. You don't violate the law without impunity, and then you're going to escape. You fall off a, you fall off a building, the law of gravity says this man got six kids. Have mercy on it. It don't work that way. It's an immutable law. But what we have here, now this is what Jim Rickett had. He worked for a big, uh, hedge fund, and he went to the CIA and told them that the nations of the world are looking to preserve their assets, and at one point, they just may crash the system because they got the gold and silver, but this is what Mr. Richard said, gold prices will somehow will surpass what? $7. They're about $1,200 an ounce now, an ounce in the inevitable global currency reset forecast. Uh, uh, there's a new book coming out, Currency Wars, the making of the next global crisis uh, at MD. Now he goes in to say that uh, he goes to say, Mr. Rickard goes on to say this. Mr. Rickard, he's the author of Currency Wars, and he says this, he says, currency wars record how global currencies have been have uh, the global system has been reset how many times? Three. Three in the past. You didn't know nothing about it. 1914. What was that? World War I. 1939. Hitler went into what you call it. That's World War II. Currencies reset. 1971. We, we got off the dollar standard. The gold standard. The gold standard with, with, with Nixon. So you said, well, where is all this going? Uh, making this long, short story, the bankers broke the system. And I'm gonna have Donna go up here for a moment and fix this, and I'm gonna have to make a quick trip because I have a little problem with that water. 
basically, I, I, I gave you an overview. What I'm saying is that every, that last chart I showed you, starting with Portugal, how all nations' currency eventually what? Failed. Failed. So what was happening now, during this reset, what will happen? Well, the currency that you have will probably lose 80, 80% of the money. Between 70 and 80% of the money. Everything will be reset. And it happen one weekend, you'll be out partying somewhere, and whether it be Obama or somebody that come on the news and said, uh, the nation that went together have reset the value of the dollar, and has reset. And what that means is that if you got, say, 10,000 in the bank, let's just say it's 80%, let's say 70%, you lose automatically $7,000. You got $2,000 in your bank. Three. You got $3,000 in your bank. Mm -hmm. uh, you were making, just say, 70%, just say you were making $14 an hour. Say, now, you, now you're down, you lose 70%. They say you're making 20%. 70% of 20 is what? 14. Now you're making $6 an hour. Because all ways are cut by what? 70%. That means the real estate market does what? Crash. Right. Everything loses 70%. Except the folks that have the what? The gold and silver, the commodity. They just go crazy up. So you're hearing around, looking around, well, listen, I got to work for $5 an hour, $6 an hour. The trade guy that's making, say, 50, he got to go to 15. Everybody, everybody's cut down. So eventually, as all currencies are eventually reset, what does that mean? That means now that American workers are the lowest paid in the world. So that means all the business that come back to America now, because <laughs> we now are, are, are cheap what? Cheap labor. We're cheap labor, labor again. Right. See? Labor. So that means that only those that have the gold is going to be able to what? The rule, and that's what's, that's the basis of the whole process, folks. They're going to impoverish the middle class as a result of that. And then, you know, that's, that type of trauma will wreck certain neighborhoods. You know, the, hmm. We've already gone. You know, most of African Americans are gone. Well, yeah. These are wealthy white neighborhoods that will eventually do what? Crash. My mother-in-law, listen, she graduated with a spell uh, in the 1930s, I think it was. And she said when she moved up to um, Connecticut, at that time they said, we ain't lying no niggas of colored folks up here. Uh, 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 but she slept in the train station because she went all the hotels. But she finally became a servant in some of these rich white folks' home. When the market crashed, she said half those villas went what? They became empty. She said white folks lost all their money. Again, this is what we're talking about. These resets have, America has always had a history of currencies and, and, and dislocations. And the way that you're able to withstand this is to be able to uh, prosper in those situations, is to be able to have, the, as I say, silver. Silver was the money uh, uh, that will have the largest uh, uh, return. And you're going to bother with that to buy property uh, or whatever you use. And I'm going to say, say this right here. Real estate will boom again. And it'll be so cheap that they will start giving these houses away, just like they did in the HUD in the, in the 1980s. When Reagan uh, 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 deregulated the savings and loans, they did the same thing. They deregulated the savings and loans. The savings and loans went bust. They had all this property on the um, market. On the market uh, by the government owned in this resolution company, and they started selling phone houses on the market. And Mayor Daley, who was the mayor then, that's what that's how blacks got into real estate because you can buy a house for what? A dollar. A dollar. Because with so many neighborhoods, what is going to go right back? They do the same thing over and what? Oh, and people just cannot catch it. You know, the seasons of fall, winter, spring. That don't change, it don't alter, but they can increase in intensity. It's as if it is in winter or a record winter snow. Well, that's, that's the same way we have no record debt. We got more debt now in, in, in the Depression than we had back then. But there will be opportunities for those that have a vision, that have some type of insight, you know, that can and will be able to survive and prosper uh, in this situation because as the scripture says it overturns and overturns, meaning that the people that are wealthy, a lot of wealthy people will lose their what? Well, lose their wealth, and then those that didn't have any wealth will what? Will gain it. And as the scripture said, it said the wealth of the wicked are laid up for what? For what? For the jazz. That's right. So they haven't got away with nothing. It's just that we're going through a turmoil and we're just trying to make you conscious of what's happening. This is not unique. This is not unique in history. It's happened before. All you're going to do is be able to arm yourself on a psychological and spiritual level to prepare for it.
understand it. This is not the end. This is the end of a system that has become corrupt uh, through its corrupt practices. So, uh, did you find out? You can buy gold and silver at shop. Let me say this. I got some here. Show you how crazy things are. Tell me why a silver dollar, I mean a regular silver, a 19, uh, uh, just take a, a, a 1960, 1945 quarter. Tell me why it's worth six dollars. A twenty-five dollar, a twenty-five cent yeah. silver coin. It's ninety percent silver. You gotta come up with six of these. You gotta reserve it. You gotta hope it don't go to hundred dollars. Because the silver wants to go back to $100. That silver, that silver quarter was worth $25. And it gets to the point, at some point, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. You won't be able to buy nothing. You walk in the store and say, man, we ain't shepping this yet. So what you mean? I just say, I ain't shepping. You, you, you're going to come in and buy it. The only thing they're going to accept is some gold, silver, some of what? Some of value. Some of value. But we ain't shepping this. Because we have totally lost what? Everything. F A I what? T F what? Faith. Faith. You know, faith goes a long way, you know. Once people lose faith in a currency, once they lose faith in a, in a, in a partner, once you lose faith, it just it, it, that just about what? It's over with. It. Faith and trust. And, and that's the problem we have today. As we look out in our communities, nobody is telling, like some of these churches, uh, uh, they are totally bankrupt, some of these churches. A friend of mine tells me, he said, listen, you know that so-and-so church down there? They ain't paid their electric bill, gas bill, and, and, and they ain't paid their mortgage. And any moment, while they're open prayer, the bankers will come and say, hold it. <laughs> praise Jesus. Well, we're going to praise him, but we're on this building now. Y'all going to have to go and cut the service off. Right now. <laughs> right now. They're going to be what? They're going to be what? They're going to be embarrassed. They're going to be embarrassed. And they don't take over God's church. You know, you wonder, what in the world are these people going to do? So I'm saying that most of our organizations have not prepared the people. Now, when, when they, you do see this, they're mostly all white, uh, 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 the, the majority of them, but very few of us have failed to understand uh, the, the, how the system operates. And uh, in a couple of things I'm gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna open it up. Anybody got any questions before? What I'd like to say is, then what's the solution is, is that you have to get a certain amount of your assets into silver or gold, whatever it is, preferably silver. Because silver, I told you, remember, the time of the Messiah, he was, sold, he was sold for how much? 30 pieces silver. of silver. Silver has always been the currency uh, that nations have used, and gold was always the, the metal for kings. That's when nations trained with one another, they trained in gold between one another, but when citizens interchange and barter with each other, uh, it was real money, they use silver. And that's what's going to be a currency, because if you got $7,000 gold, just say you go to $7,000, what are you going to do with that $7,000? Can you go to a uh, supermarket and buy anything with $7,000? No. See? So that, that's more or less for savings. So you're going to use silver, uh, uh, even if uh, silver went to, uh, gold went to, say, 10000 silver went to uh, $1,000, you still would have a, a quarter worth $250. But do you know how much a hamburger would cost? About $20. You know, uh, you know what I'm saying? 20 25 a pound. See? The poor people would be priced, priced out of the whole thing. And you got turmoil. You got confusion as a result of the system. You have to try to finally reset the system. And usually what happens in a reset, you wake up one, one, one uh, Saturday and say, you know what? We set up a new currency. For every uh, uh, $10, for every five uh, old dollars, you get one what? One dollar, one new you get, dollar. You get one new dollar. So if, 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 if it's, uh, uh, you know, so you can lose 50% of your money just like that, bam, just by decree. And what, they, what that would do is reduce the country's what? Yeah. Debt. Debt and make it more manageable, but it would wipe you out. Because you don't have any income, you don't have nothing to offset that. Now there's many things that, uh, there's many, uh, um, uh, coin bills here in Chicago. There's some on the web. We give you a choice of where you should go. But I'll tell you one thing, it's, it's a question not if you're going to buy silver or gold, it's when and at what price. And you can sit around here and it's a $20. We told people to buy it at six. Silver, it went from six to went to 50, came back down to 25. We told people to buy gold at, at uh, <coughs> 400, it went to 2,000. See, five times, you know it's going to get crazy. Because listen, the wealthy are not going to let their wealth fritter away. 
a certain percent of them, and they're gonna buy everything in gold and silver and set back and let the thing crash and come and buy everything up, and you're gonna be their uh, 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 slaves. That's how it's gonna be set up. And that's how it's been repeated throughout history. If you read that 47 chapter of Joseph, you can see then a man with foresight, a man that had become visionary, was able to do it. Now, uh, yeah, 47 in Jesus. Just read that chapter. And then when you read it, just think about what, what it applies today. You can find out that all the land was invented. Pharaoh wanted to own all the land. And currently all the homes Question. are owned by what? Question. Hold on one second. Go ahead. I just recently saw something on, I think it was CNN, that coffee is now the second highest trading commodity behind oil. How's that going to impact what you're talking about? That means that quality coffee. It just said coffee is the second highest. Trade that means that, that that means a little can of coffee you go in, what you pay for a pound, mm -hmm. you won't be able to buy a pound of coffee. It'll be what? Worth a pound. And it'll, it'll be too high, so they cut it down to what? A, a half, half pound. Or either quarter. And, you know, or a quarter pound. So you yeah. might eventually. What's going to happen? At, at, at some point in time, you'll pay. A, a, you'll, you'll buy a quarter pound. That. A quarter pound of coffee for say at fifteen, sixteen dollars a pound. So can you use that in terms of investment? Since so we're talking about gold and silver, what it does it make sense to make that okay? Well, investment? Oh, oh yeah, you, you listen. That's a, when this thing get crazy. I had a white friend of mine. He said, "Man, I got a hundred pounds of uh, shit in my uh, in, in my in my garage." I said, "You're a smart man." Because <laughs> everybody needs what sugar. Sugar. Now you can't, you, you, it's very hard to find a four pound, a five pound uh, sugar. A ten, and you find it, but it, it got a what? It got a, people say, woo wee! See, see, but coffee is a commodity. Uh, it may have a bad year, but a lot of people, the wealthy people are buying commodities just to make sure that their money is able to, uh, what? To, to be able to maintain its purchasing power. So let me say, when I, when I say maintain my purchasing power, let me mean this. Where is the penny candy at? Ain't done no more. See, you don't have a penny candy. You look at the candy bars, what we paid a nickel for is a dollar. He said, this stuff is crazy. You know, you can pay uh, 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 in your packet. Uh, did, it, did anybody remember the little piece of candy you have in your, uh, uh, we had the uh, blue, blue green pack, I mean the blue green uh, candy in your packet. Do you know what they want from that host, uh, 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 retail wholesale? It's about a dollar and a quarter for that little bitty. They want two dollars for that little ounce of uh, blue green allergy uh, that has a lot of nutrition and stuff. They want two dollars for that little piece of candy. That goes to show you it's not as big as a chunk it used to be. See, what I'm trying to show you is that the money you got is becoming worthless. That means that the price of everything is going up, and, and, and knowing that you can't buy a pound of anything, the price begins to, I mean, the size of the product begins to what? Decrease. The strength. It's hard to find, you, you go to the supermarket and look for, um, say you're looking for 16 ounces. You know, that was common nowadays. You go to you know, get camel soup, it says 14. Yeah, it's small. My wife, I said, this, ain't, this, this, this can't look small. And as time goes on, it gets what? Smaller and smaller. Smaller and smaller, but the price remains what? Same. Same. So you, so you can begin to see then, that's why one of the things that Pontius said, you have a lot of people growing gardens. Uh, and, 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 and throughout the city, uh, such as that they will not be able to buy food uh, at this current prices. And things will continue to go up. So what, what this does is two things. That forces, as the economic uh, pain increases, that's going to force people to live together, pull together, and pull their resources together to survive because they cannot no longer make it a what? They're on their own. Uh, on their own. Why, why have 35 percent uh, of the college students move back home? There's no what? Job. Yeah. There's no job. This is all part of a, a meltdown of the destruction of the middle class. The largest debt in the country is for its consumers, is college loans, and they owe $1 trillion. They have, there's more debt in college loans than there are credit cards. Now, how can somebody with, with no job no, and, and no assets no get all this money? Now, how are they going to pay it back at a salary at a salary that's below the current, uh, uh, the average salary in America is $50,000. Most college graduates are earning about 35, 40. So, so you know you're dead what? Broke. 
And you mean you gotta live all, you could not get married, you better not have no children because you already got a college loan, and she may have a college loan. I mean, how you gonna pay for a house? How you gonna live in a car? So wait a minute, this stuff is stone what? Crazy. Crazy, because that means they won't be able to buy anything. They'll be a perpetual debt slave uh, uh, to these bankers uh, as a result of this whole process. Any more questions? Give me a mic. Well, copper will be any any type of uh, pure copper will go crazy. That, that that the metals will be copper, silver, and gold. The, the metals will be and platinum. And platinum, you know, you got platinum there. Uh, those will be the four major. So so copper, the old copper pits, uh, uh, I think it's eighty two and back. They're pure copper. Well, people will exchange those. But silver, uh, you can get a silver quarter now for for, for about five dollars. Uh, six dollars, it could be about a quarter you can, because what's gonna happen, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, any one day, I have a mark up here. Any one day, if I ask you how much gold do they have wholesale, in any one day, you know how rich America is, there's only 750 million dollars. I didn't say big, there's only 750 million dollars of, of, of precious metals on any one day in the market. That's all that, that, all that exists is $750 million. So if there's a panic overnight, that whole supply book. Right. Go. So $750 million has to buy out the whole thing. The whole thing though, there's no gold or silver to be found. Folks run around crazy. You got the gold, you got the silver. I pay double what it is. That's how crazy it's going to get because money is what? Fail. Fail. And, it, and everybody is totally terrified of holding this because they won't at least be able to have an asset that will increase in price and not depreciate. And that's what you have here. And certain neighborhoods are just, just bad, just like in, in, in uh, Detroit. Other neighborhoods will kind of survive. And those that have the uh, wherewithal will be able to rebuild those communities uh, 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 in, in that. If you go back to uh, 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 Black Wall Street, the economic times, they were able to, they had, they had assets that generated cash revenue. And people became jealous, that's what I'm saying, is that that's what you, the communities will come together, people will pull together and survive uh, 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 and, and rebuild. It's, it's not the end, you just have to have another reset. You have to have a plan, as Secure said in the first uh, opening uh, this morning, if you missed that, we'll have it on DVD. But those are the things, you did. everything here, let me say this, in 1932, uh, uh, when President uh, Roosevelt, FDR came in, he said, fear, you have nothing but fear, the, you have nothing but fear, but what? Fear, fear itself. Fear is an paralyzing force, folks. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to prepare for it. This is what's coming. This is how to prepare for it. Uh, uh, this is what the skills you need. Uh, uh, there will always be things that you need that you can trade. Uh, in exchange for these meadows, because uh, uh, there will be services that need to be done. <coughs> Are there any other uh, questions? The problem with precious stones is that it goes along with the grading. You have to know what, the, what type of silver, uh, metals or diamonds are investment grade. Uh, they're rare colors like yellow and bluish. You gotta go somewhere. When you walk into a gasoline station, uh, 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 something you want to bottle with. You want to bottle with something that that fairly everybody has a what? A knowledge of. A knowledge of. And see, people have a knowledge of. Uh, oh, I got something here. Too. Uh, uh, silver. Everybody knows about the old silver coins. Anybody that's 50 or 60 know, and you can tell the difference about. Wait a minute. I think I have. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, right here. This here is 250. This is two half dollars. 1916. Uh, 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 two and a half dollars. This is 19, what? This is 1918. This thing here costs, you know, $10. Each. Each. You know, maybe two, maybe say, yeah, yeah. And some may be 15. Because the two of these, uh, you know, a silver dollar is about 30 35 dollars. One silver dollar. <coughs> so here you, you got a, the coins. I can, at some point or another, things get crazy. You can walk in the guy and say, oh, this is 1918. I know what it is because they got it on the internet. Well, what, what do you want for it? I want X amount of uh, gasoline. You can trade it for anything because this is the only thing that's going to withstand the time. The, 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 the time. 
So anytime you can, you can see that you got a silver dollar here and it costs $10 to buy it, people, you know, can't compute. You mean to tell me I got a, it's like 20 or 30 times its face value? Yeah, because that means that paper money is what? It, it, it's reckless. This is why we told people, you won't be able to get those coins at some point or another. Because everybody will buy them up and everybody says, you know, I gotta, I gotta feed my children. That's why we told people to get this stuff now, and at some point, another, total faith will be lost in the dollar. And uh, that would be the situation. Now, run it real quick. I know people, uh, I don't want to stay here too long. We want people to uh, attend our, uh, uh, if somebody wanted me to stay up here two hours, you have to come to these meetings on every third Sunday, they're free. What about the free economic uh, after hours on uh, third Sunday? Every third Sunday, they're free. We come in, we used to charge a lot. We used to charge $25, $50. We said, you know what? Time is so short, we don't need your money. It's just like this session here. People, for whatever reason, don't come. But like you say, words of truth is of value now. What you're going to do with, this, with, with, with the truth is what's scarce. And it cannot be found. And people are running thither and hither for somebody to tell them the truth of what they should be doing or what they should be doing. Uh, I don't have time to go real quick to uh, uh, It's seven minutes, I'm sorry. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just put uh, uh, standing in line, not to watch not, not to watch not They're not watching the mic. This is not a concert. They're, they're gonna listen. They're gonna all stand in line. Jay-Z and It's not a Jay-Z, they're not standing in line. That's what they're standing in line for. What? Gold. Ten thousand that's all they buy. Because of the Chinese culture. Go, you know, when they have weddings or in India, they don't give what? Toasters? <laughs> they, they, they don't give sheets? See what I'm saying? They, the, the bride is showered with what? Gold. Gold. And that's what we have here today. Uh, uh, look, they got their children here. So when the reset comes, who's going to be worse off? The Chinese, the average Chinese, and the average American? See, the average Chinese is going to be able to ride the storm out, and the average American will be totally devastated. Now, he'll live to go on, but it'll be in a, a sort of impoverished, impoverished, or halfway impoverished state, depending on whether the father will have mercy on him and be able to uh, 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 work and exchange and barter for these, for these items. So, that's what I want to end on. Is there any questions? Or that's just some good detail. I can tell you where the coin store, a coin shops in, here in the, uh, the city. You can go online uh, to buy. A, 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 there's a place called Appmex, A P M E X. For those of you that are want to be uh, doing on a monthly basis, there's a company called Silver Savior, like Saver. Like you save your coins, you can, you can put away fifty dollars a month, and they'll save up real currency, a uh, real silver. And you can give it back, wash uh, uh, twenty ounces of silver. And just send it to you. Uh, there's other ways you can do it. All you want to do is get as much as you can while you can, because as the system begins to fall, it gets very chaotic. And usually in chaos and social turbulence, uh, social turbulence, tur tur turbulence, turbulence, turbulence. Uh, leaders are assassinated. You know, F the FBI almost got assassinated. They killed uh, uh, Sermat. So, uh, as I told people, I'd hate to be a bomber in this situation get crazy. Because folks go what? Mad. Mad when they money. When they, listen, in America, your social status is based on one thing. What? How much money you got? Yeah, really. Friend of mine said, well, I'm going to ask him. I said, wait a minute. I said, how much money you got, Negro? Because <laughs> listen, they don't have no food stamps over there. No wig no program. And no wig program. You don't work, you don't what? You don't eat. Eat. So I said, I said unless you're over there with, with some type of skill, uh, 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 something that you're going to do, but you just run over there without anything, well, you better off here. 